Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new expanded area for customs. This has been recently added with patch 12.7 and has breathed a lot of new life into customs. Now, I haven't played any online games on this area of the map at the moment. Work and family life mean that I just haven't had the chance, but I've had a good couple of offline walks around it with scavs on and without scavs on. And I've got to say, I really, really like what they've done with this new area it definitely adds a new like dynamic element to customs so nikita said before it was released that it would add around 40 percent extra size to customs and i'd have to say i agree with that it is a massive area but don't let the size of it put you off the fact that it's quite easy to navigate around once you've been across it a couple of times you've basically seen it all so when they announced that there was an expansion coming i did wonder where it would tie into the new map now obviously we knew that you'd be able to access this part of the map from the construction area because that is the main bulk of where it ties into but i was wondering you know on the left and the right where would it tie into so it pretty much ties into where the ruaf road uh, roadblock is which is the extract on customs you've got the dead guy in the bush if you just go through the hole in the wall it all opens out in front of you to the left oh, no, is that the right no to the right sorry and then at the other end of it it links into old gas station so if you go into old gas station and you go into the bushes at the side and go around the back of the gas station there is a metal door which is now open and that leads you into the new area now in total the new area has three explorable buildings and i'm going to go from the left to the right on the map so when you go past the dead guy in the bush and you go through the hole in the wall it opens out onto your right you have a two-story building to begin with which is like a, a sort of like a little medical research building if you go in there go upstairs and the first door that you come to when you get to the top of the stairs is like an old looking door it's not a door asset that's been used in the game before so it does stand out a little bit if you go in that room there is a lot of bulk, uh, bookshelves in there and you can get a lot of intelligence folders in there spawning at the moment sometimes you can pick up to three to four lots of intelligence folders so i would expect that the intelligence folders price is going to start dropping on the market now because people will be farming these quite a lot i reckon but it's a great little building there's filing cabinets in there there's sports bags i think there's a couple of weapons cases in there as well you know there's quite a lot to loot in there plus there are some good sniping opportunities from this building it gives you a good view out of the upstairs windows across the new area of the map moving on to the next building this is a little garage which again is very close to where you come through the hole in the wall and the new area opens out there's not a great deal to this i have found fuel spawn in there but it's there's not much else in there there's a toolbox and that's pretty much it so it's just going to have a few little bits of random loot spawning in there like i say not a great deal to it there are no sniping opportunities from this building there's no windows looking out or anything like that but i suppose if you've been under sustained fire or somebody's following you it's a good little place just to hold up and maybe med and things like that next we get to the main building in this area it's a big two-story building it does have an underground part as well although the underground part doesn't link into any other part of the map i did wonder at first if the underground bits that we could see in the images that they put out would link into other parts of the map but that isn't the case the underground part basically just encompasses the entire footprint of the building and that is it now the underground part does contain the new extract from customs i will do a separate video on how to do the extract it has to be activated in another building then you will need the factory key to get through the first gate to get to the extract but as i say i'll do a quick little video on that and if i remember i'll put a link on the screen now if there isn't no link just check the channel and the video will most probably be there but this building again a lot of sniping opportunities in this building a lot of loot to be had there's lots of little cubby holes and little areas where loot is spawning lots of jackets sports bags etc there are also two mounted gun positions on this there is one that is facing back the way that we've just come and there is another one that is facing out of the front that looks, sort of looks to the old area of construction quite how far you can shoot with these things i'm not too sure now originally i think it was just meant to be one mounted gun position but it is now two i don't really think it'll make a huge amount of difference I've, i tend to find that a lot of part a lot of the time people avoid the mounted guns because it just gives your position away straight away people know where they are they know where to look and quite a few times where i've tried to mess about with them i've been 
sniped instantly, so... <laughs> but yeah, they're there if you want to use them. Now moving a bit further over from this new building, you'll come to these train cars, and going over the other side of the tracks takes you into the old gas part. Now, one thing that I would advise is caution on these tracks. Obviously, you can see on the screen now, if you go too far up, there are notices up to say that there are snipers active. These are the invisible snipers, the same ones that you get on reserve, that will shoot you if you go try to go too far out of the map. And it is the same on here, if you go too far down these tracks they will shoot you so you've just got to be wary of that you can go up to the sign though quite safely and you won't be shot at but once you go past the first sign they kind of start to take aim at you so just be wary of that now another mention is if you go into old gas and you go around to what is warehouse 4 if you don't know what warehouse 4 is that's the warehouse that is next to the car that you use to jump over the fence you jump on the car on the portal loot and over the fence that warehouse you could never get in that but you can now that warehouse is fully opened up you can go from one side of it to the other and there is also an underground part with this i think there's a couple of weapons cases down there but again like the large building in the new area there's lots of little cubby holes and places where you can get loot i think there's some filing cabinets in there i'm not too sure there might be but there is also the activation switch for the new extract but i think it's a nice touch that we have this warehouse that basically isn't part of the new area but they've opened it up anyway now they could have just done that and that would have been enough obviously it wouldn't be classed as an expansion but it'd have been you know a nice touch to add to the map but to have that along with the expansion gives us a lot of you know play area in the map now so overall i'm really really pleased with the expansion to customs has it hit performance on the game i'm not too sure it's a bit hard to tell the couple of offline games that i've done i have noticed that when i have scavs activated that my fps does drop i've i noticed a 30 fps drop in one game now i don't think that's going to be indicative of everybody experience with this expansion i think that maybe my computer was just having a bit of a bad day i wouldn't expect normally to lose 30 fps when i've got scavs on but to me that says that with scavs and pmcs i think the performance will be degraded somewhat on the map but i don't think it'd be nowhere near enough to make it you know a bad experience so i think overall they've done a good job in that department the overall look and feel of the new area i think is really good as well obviously you've only got three buildings but these buildings are full of lootable areas you're going to have scavs around there there's quite a few in the offline raids that i've done but also the areas between the buildings it's not sparsely populated there is a lot of cover there you've got buses you've got containers you've got tractors there's a ditch that runs part of the length of the new area so that you can, you've always got a cover opportunity there and like i say you're going to need it because each one well apart bar in the garage both of the buildings both of the main buildings have good sniping opportunities across them so you do have to be wary when you're out in the open but as i say there is a lot of cover there so it's not too bad at all so yeah i've got to give battle state a big thumbs up for this expansion i think it's amazing it like i say it adds a new dynamic to the map as far as i'm aware they haven't increased the pmc count on the map at the moment as far as i'm aware i might be wrong they might have done it already but i couldn't really remember how many it supported beforehand but i think it's the same now that's not to say that they might increase it at some point in the future it's going to depend on the feedback that they get on the area and obviously performance could it support more pmcs with this added area i'm not too sure at the moment but it does give you another way to traverse the map obviously originally you'd be stuck towards more the in construction and then out on the main road towards dorms it, you had to go all the way down use your factory key to cut through now you can go the other way around so there's a couple of ways to traverse this map it will lower the pv on the map i think i don't think there's any doubts with that there's going to be less chance of you coming into contact with pmcs on this obviously i think for a while that'll be it'll be totally opposite because a lot of people are going to be checking this new area out so there'll be a lot of pvp happening at the moment but i think once it beds down and we've got used to this new area i think it, there will be less chance of running into pmcs which is a good thing if you're doing those quests where you just want to drop something off or pick something up and you just want to get in and out that is great for those that purely go for pvp you're going to know what area Areas to go for to it for so obviously the main building will be one of those or if that isn't working out then you're going to go to dorms or new gas anywhere where rishala might spawn i think the main new building is one of rishala's spawns as well now don't quote me on that but i think that is the case so yeah this new area i really like it like i said lots to loot lots of cover lots of places to explore i'd like to know your thoughts and feelings on the expansion let me know in the comment section down below what your uh, experience of it is up to now and obviously with the new ai changes 
challenges to scavs you know what kind of challenges that pose to you do you think it's made things a little easier do you not find the scavs much of a challenge or do you think that they're absolutely hardcore and maybe they've gone a little bit too far with them let me know in the comment section down below as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care